Want to see your Skystone robot on the front page of Twitch? Submit your end of the year reveal video to FTC Reveal Night by Saturday, April 4th to be shown on Wednesday, April 8th. Go to tinyurl.com forward slash Skystone Reveal to submit your video. All right. So in the fifth spot, we have... Pool. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have the pool. Uh, so 111, 1115, gluten-free, uh, took the team that you guys thought should be in the fifth spot. So I guess we're going to talk about that right now. Uh, in our fifth spot, uh, we have team... In our fifth... Yeah, one, one, so one, one, sorry. <laughs> we have team 8221. That's Cubix from Hampson, Maryland. Cubix's robot is very efficient with their quick lift, quick drivetrain, and consistent four stone auto. They've been one of the best stackers of the year since their intake can pick up blocks at every angle. A feeder brings it to them, and their lift is very, very quick. Even though they're a stacker, they've got one of the fastest drivetrains I've seen in a competition, and a very unique open design compared to the many boxy robots of the year. They're also one of the only teams with 50-plus wins this year. And that's not including Worlds. I think they... they I, I would have to check the record. They went 52-2, uh, and two is what TOA says. So they lost two matches out of 50, but like that's still insane, especially for this year, uh, with all the randomness with auto and stuff like that. Um, their robot looks really cool. Holy cow, I don't think I've seen it this year. It's um, really clean. Really clean. What's up with this robot, just quickly, on the uh, Blue Alliance here? This purple one? Like what that's team is that? Frog bots. That's, that's Frog, frog bots. That's Frog Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's really cool. Another top team. They didn't make the top twenty-five, but solid powerhouse team from Virginia. Yeah. All right. In the fourth spot, we have team one zero four three five. Uh, that's the Circuit Breakers from Waukee, Iowa. Um, the Circuit Breakers are a team that really needs no introduction. They were number one in our first top 25 poll of the season. And from the very beginning of the season, they turned heads, constantly putting 100-point matches out. Um, and they they really defined what the meta is for this season. Um, and so it's it's been really cool. They got world record and IOSA championship, which was completely deserved by them. And um, I wish I got to see them play some more. Um, one of the things that we forgot to mention is that gluten, you guys also thought gluten free took fourth place. You guys are great. You guys at are over two at this guessing game. <laughs> Vote over better. Two. Come on, chat. Um, here quickly, let's uh, before I say who the third team is, get your votes in. Come on, I'll All give you five right. seconds. Three, two, one. Um, in the third spot, we have team seventy-two thirty-six. And you guys tied. Uh, 7236 and gluten free. So you guys would get half a point for that one. There you uh, go. That's so that's Reach. Oh, sorry. That's You're Recharge there. Green from Pella, Iowa. Uh, Recharge Green is the epitome of the team you want to play with year after year. And this year is no different. Boasting a beast of a bot with a four stone auto, a robust drivetrain, and extremely fast and consistent st uh, cycles, they dominated the state of Iowa. Along with 10 4, 35 circuit breakers. They set the world record of 166 points. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do at off-season events to keep their momentum going. Um, uh, hopefully they'll show up. Um, we'll see. They've just been an awesome team this year. And this is another one of those teams that went 50-plus wins this year. Um, been really efficient, really cool. They have, like, the absolute meta of metas. Um, and... Again, watching them with Circuit Breakers, we talked about this a little bit earlier in uh, North Recap, but it was cool to see how their strategy was to build two towers and not to have a feeder and a stacker. And at Worlds, that's the one thing that I was looking for. Is it going to be we turn into a bunch of stackers and a bunch of feeders, or do we have a bunch of hybrids that have to play both? Absolutely. Yeah. That's literally what I... Like, I think that they were a large part of changing that definition because up until Iowa States, in my personal opinion, uh, or up until like Oregon super quals, the, what teams were doing was, was very, 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 very like stringent. It was, you had one stacker and one feeder, regardless of how, of how good those teams are. This is what really showed a change. And I thought that this was going to be a lasting, uh, a lasting change that was going to go through the season. Unfortunately, um, the season is the thing that crapped out on us. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, and now we have we have the drama spot. We have the number two spot. 
poll has said that gluten free is going to take first. So six nine two nine data force is going to be the second spot. Let's see if you guys are right. In the second spot, we have team sixty nine twenty nine. That's Data Force from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Data Force has just been amazing this year, topping the charts for every single aspect of this game. Their extremely unique turret system has led them to having one of the best five stone autos, autos, multiple 12 caps, and just tearing up the competition at every level. We recently had an FTC Live interview with them, so I suggest you all check it out after the show. But it's just a real shame that we didn't get to see them at Houston. Maybe we'll see something at MT MTI. Who knows? All right. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, it's just hard. This is what makes it really hard about this year. It's just that these teams, I know for a fact that Miles, one of the main guy on Data Force, is a senior, and just the heartbreak of doing this, creating something so so successful, um, and just not being able to compete, just not be able to finish your season out. Um, it's it's just one of the uh, the one of the unfortunate one of the it's it's one of the more unfortunate things about this season. Yeah, and I think like they didn't do the meta. Like, they that's what's so cool about it. Yeah, like, definitely. this game, you didn't have to go with the meta to win. And um, they showed that you could go without the meta. We had so many teams in this in this um, top 25 that weren't the meta, and that was not the case last year. Like, if you looked at last year, there were maybe one or two. Here we had five to six teams that were not the meta, and I think that just shows good game design on first part. I think, overall, this was one of the best games, and Data Force played it really well. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Finally, in the first spot, we have drum roll, please. C O V I D. A uh, C O V I D nineteen. Thanks for taking away worlds. <laughs> but really, <laughs> we had team eleven fifteen. Uh, one 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 five. Gluten free. <laughs> that was gluten -free horrible. From Hollis, New Hampshire. That was a bad joke. <laughs> No surprise here. They're one of the fastest and most unique robots out there. They've got a double reverse four bar. Again, a not meta robot. Uh, very fast drivetrain, reliable intake, um, puts them among the best. This They've got this six stone auto. Uh, nobody else has that yet. And um, they had to have the number one spot, especially with that reveal that they released. Um, currently, they hold the highest OPR in the world and are quite literally only maxed out by their lift height. Uh, love to see them increase that lift height for MTI if they can. Um, really hoping that they'll be at MTI, and I want to see them play again. Definitely, they're always a great team. Um, as someone mentioned, I don't the, the, in the chat. Someone said that they think that Gluten Free has never lost a top twenty-five poll. It'd be very interesting. Very interesting to go see if they have if they've not <laughs> had the number one spot uh, in any of our uh, results. But as you can see, they're great. Um, they're awesome, so I can't wait to see them compete again. I wish we could have seen them compete at Worlds. Uh, I mean, same with every team, of course. Um, I think one of the things that sets them apart is how much practice they got. They had their bot done in November, and they were just able to tweak and tune it all the way till now. Um, and that practice is really what gives them advantage. A lot of teams procrastinate building their bot until right before their qualifier, uh, but they really got it done early, and they were just able to tweak and tune. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, Tyler, can you roll for our giveaway? Yeah, once again, uh, last chance to get in for that giveaway, uh, where the keyword uh, for that was going to be AM100, and that's for that never rest motor, once again, from our friends at Animark. So AM-100. Uh, I do want to address something just real quick uh, in chat. I don't think this is a rant, so sorry in your bingo cards. But uh, I know the joke was 731. But in general, just don't forget that to vote when we do polls up. People are like, well, why weren't they in this rank? Or why weren't they in this rank? Well, most people who ask that haven't voted is what I usually find in the years that we've been doing this. So make sure you're voting. We make it pretty uh, obvious in our Discord uh, for that. A lot of times it's posted in the FTC Discord as well, too. Uh, so make sure you're voting. Get your friends to vote as well, too, uh, for things. Just make sure you're not spamming it because we have an auto flagger that literally just deletes your vote. So it, um, it's gotten a lot easier than what it used to be in previous years. We we have uh, – what do we have for FRC last week? Like 550 guys. So um, not quite as many with FTC, and that's okay. It's starting to grow. But uh, we have systems in place to avoid all that spam and other crap that comes in for it. So, uh, so once again, make sure your vote counts. Follow the rules for it. And thank you to those who did uh, who stepped up to make a great FTC top 25 poll for this year. 
Uh, so with that said, the winner of the Annie Mark Never Rest Motor is going to be Adam, 14875. Congratulations. Hey. Uh, Congratulations, winning. Adam. Probably your 50th victory, your 50th <laughs> drawing win, but that's okay. We allow that, um, and congratulations. And that does mean lots of rigged emotes in chat since the subscriber won as well. Thanks again to Annie Mark uh, for continually providing giveaways. Uh, one last thing. Uh, with COVID-19 going on right now, guys, a lot of suppliers are being impacted uh, for things. So we got to give them huge props for still being cool with doing giveaways because for them, you know, right now, I bet, I'm going to guess their business has probably dropped. I can't speak for all the suppliers. Uh, so make sure you go. You know, if you have something, make sure you're uh, supporting them as well, too, for uh, continually making sure that they're hooking us up on fun. We really do appreciate that. So make sure uh, you're uh, supporting these suppliers who are stepping up to hook us up uh, for things because they're really coming in big time. Uh, for those who aren't working right now, the work environment is it's pretty desperate uh, right now. I'll tell you from my, my full-time job working at it is a very tough uh, situation to deal with uh, so those who are not you know if, if you're not working right now or anything like that i'm telling you guys right now like the environment is is really rough right now for the work environment so make sure you give a big thanks to all these suppliers who are stepping up well and if you want something fun to check out from our suppliers uh go check out uh greg from rev robotics either on his facebook or his instagram he has been entertaining me and others with videos of his cat every single day because as most people he's working from home uh, so it's kind of funny to watch everyone working from home. I know Andy, Mark, and Rev, Go Build, uh, all of the one wonderful suppliers that we have um, are doing their best to stay open and send you guys stuff. So support them. Uh, and I think most of them have been posting funny things online as they work from home and try to robot not in the shop. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and let's take awesome. it away. Thank you for all the follows and subscriptions we received today. Don't forget that you can subscribe for free if you or your parent have Amazon Prime. We hope you enjoyed this episode of FTC Top 25. If you want to stay connected with Fun FTC, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at FunFTC, and join our Discord through the link in the chat. Tyler, can you read off who's pledged support for the stream? Yeah, we'll go through this really quick, but just big shots to those who are keeping fun, loud, live, and independent. Lots of us to make shows like uh, FTC Top 25. Uh, so SH Soul 1705 with a tier one sub. Cookie Hero, 14 months of support. Says, wow, that's been more like a year. Yep, good math there. Uh, Mike, uh, Michael CC 9889, four months of support coming in. A uh, bunch of little bits coming in from people, so appreciate those as well. Adam, 14875, Prime Sub, anyone today, not too bad. Festive Invader, 847, eight months of support. Uh, it says, uh, for the bingo card, can you please say uh, Island, Elan, how you think it's pronounced? I'm just going to say it every way, <laughs> and then it's pronounced correctly uh, no matter what, uh, the way you go through it. Uh, JBC Boss with two months of support through Prime Sub, 14615, Turbocharge FTC, 10 months of support. Thank you so much. Galaxy 1137, the Prime Sub. Uh, Redfish for box with a few bits. Asbestos, interesting name with a prime sub. Uh, is it going going in? Nathan, twenty two months of support. Thanks a lot, Nathan. Uh, Mecha Muffin, six months of support. And thank you to everybody. If we missed anybody for all your support, uh, once again for allowing us to make uh, great content. And Brian Sachs, one three five, coming in with nine months there and says, "Woo, go gluten free." So on behalf of Ishan. Uh, Shishir and our producer Tyler working behind the scenes. I would like to thank you for turning in, tuning in tonight. Uh, we will be back in a couple of weeks with reveal night. So make sure you get your reveals in, uh, create those awesome videos. We can't wait to see them. Uh, see you then. Stay safe, stay healthy, uh, and good night. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.